everyone, it's me Arden Lee and today I am here in my kitchen with Brian Manowitz who is also known as the Vegan Black Metal Chef and tell everyone about what we're going to be doing today. Greetings followers of Arden! Today we'll be making an epic pasta alfredo but we'll be making it gluten free. I'm so excited about incorporating more plant-based foods into my diet. So this is Brian's book, this is the Satanic Spellbook. And I've had it here in my kitchen for quite a while. And I'm so excited to be able to actually make this dish with the very author himself. I'm excited to be making this with you because you're awesome. Sweet. All right, let's get started. All right, so we have the ingredients. We are going to use these Beyond Meatballs, which this is actually my first time trying these. I've had Beyond Meat before, but uh, this is the Italian style Beyond Meatballs. Excited to try them. They are gluten-free. Uh, we have some gluten-free pasta. We have some garlic. A lot of garlic. I already chopped up. <laughs> this is an entire bulb of garlic uh, chopped up in there. And we have some vegan Parmesan. We have some coconut milk. Now, this is one thing that's very important. This is uh, like a high fat, thick, high calorie coconut milk. Not all coconut milk is created equal. So if you see this, and you're wondering just to make this real quick, just use this one. You can find it in Whole Foods and, and a few other places. We also have some vegan butter. This is a Earth Balance vegan butter available pretty much anywhere. And some salt and pepper. Let's awesome. go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do, we will we'll go ahead and start a larger pot for the pasta. Now this is my first time trying this gluten-free pasta. Just gonna toss it on in there. Uh, get that started. Now we'll also put some salt in the water. While that gets heating up, we're going to go ahead and start our sauce as well. So we're going to have a small pot for the sauce. And the first step with that is we're going to put it on a semi-low heat uh, because we don't want to toast this garlic. We just kind of want to infuse the flavor of the garlic throughout throughout the uh, the coconut milk and and vegan butter. Alfredo. A, a gentle infusion rather rather than a a, a, a black metal charring. Exactly. Do Shall I honors, do the honors? Do the honors of opening that up. <sighs> oh, that felt good. Yes. <laughs> Dominate the can of coconut milk. I used, all to, of your I used to be a pro dom. Used to be a pro dom. I did. Yeah, in fact, this, this kind of looks a little like a Wartenberg wheel. <laughs> but more complicated. Now, what is a Wartenberg wheel? I can go and get the one that's in there, but it's probably not going to help us cook anything. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a can of coconut milk, and we're going to melt in about a third as much of the vegan butter as we have the coconut milk. Use so this about... mortal knife. So about a third of what you see there of vegan butter. Think about now, this. Yeah. Now, there's a, there's a huge range of right. So... Don't freak out about it. Like one thing that you'll notice uh, in my teachings in my book is there are no precise recipes. That's solid. That's a, that's about a third, maybe even a, a generous third. I, I think that's a precise third. Oh, <laughs> that is a precise third. I meant a third as much as you see of the coconut milk. Oh, a third of the but, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, 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 that's all right. No, no, no. There's a huge range of right, so See, we're going to go with it. You talk to a math nerd about thirds. Yes. That was quite a precise that third. Was, that was a very precise third of that. That was a, quite a precise third. And we're going to melt that all together. And we're just going to go ahead and toss the garlic in. Go ahead and give that a stir. And let's go ahead and toss in our vegan parmesan. So we're going to use a decent amount of vegan Parmesan. And once again, there's a pretty big range of right with this stuff. So if you add a little more or a little less, you're going to be okay. And we'll go ahead and start the meatball sauteing. And while that's happening, we'll just have a chat because sometimes when things are cooking, they're just cooking and that's all you can do. And then you're going to teach me how to do a, a black metal screen, right? We're going to teach you how to do a black metal screen. We'll add just a little bit of this vegan butter to saute them in. And 
There they go. Those things in. Those bad boys. Now, one thing about vegan meats is that they look like they're done very quickly, and they are in the sense that they're not going to harm you or kill you or anything like that if you if you eat them quickly. But I like to saute them really well for maximum taste and like crispiness on the outside and things of that nature. So we'll just saute these really well. All right, so how I do my black metal scream. For me, it's a very throaty thing. But your throat will have to learn how much air to push versus blowing itself out. So, when I do this, I kind of project like that. Let's see if I can just belt out a scream. Yeah! like that if I pushed it really loud maybe it would blow my throat out more and you you got pitched to that but too a little so, bit of pitch yeah. yeah yeah all right let's see if I can do it <clears throat> yeah Ooh, I got a little lightheaded <laughs> Ooh, this definitely looks done what do you think That is not bad, actually. Okay, cool. All right, we like we like this bread. That is not bad. We like the chickpea pasta. Whoops. There are very few gluten-free pasta brands that I'm like, fuck yes, that is uh, that is solid. This one's your seal of approval. Yeah, yeah, yeah. amazing. I, I, give one a try. Let's see, tell me what you think. That's. It's not even that mm. different from. Um, it's really not. From. Wheat pasta. It tastes completely like regular pasta. Yeah, uh, I'm into it. that is that is quite similar. All right, so we've got this all strained. We'll set this aside. Meanwhile, sauteing vegan meatballs, and the sauce is saucing. Get that a stir. Turn up the heat just a little bit so it's a low boil. That's more of a simmer. Yeah, a simmer. Exactly. Haley Williams has a song called Simmer. Oh. You think she was talking about your linguine? What else would she be talking about? <laughs> right? <laughs> Throughout the Satanic Spellbook, I have little sidebars of what I call practical mysticism. Um, this essay here is called The Mystery of Fire and Water. He's a Bulgarian mystic named Omron Mikhail Ivanov. That sort of taught uh, this concept. When we go into our meditation and get into alignment with ourselves we're sort of forging ourselves in the fire and sort of like like pounding out the shape that uh that we want and then when we are in essence put to the test of those practices in real life that's sort of like being plunged into the water and then we get to see what shape we thought we had sort of solidified so we're kind of constantly going through a state of being forged in the fire and then when we put it to practice we get to see sort of how we're shaped i like that you have here the mystery of fire and water and that's like how we made our pasta that that is true as well i love mysticism and i love magic it, 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 it is not a study of the objective it is a study of the subject so I, I have a degree in behavioral neuroscience as well so i I don't smart be, and he can cook. What are what are some of your major influences in the occulty world? I consider myself a chaos magician. So what that means to me is that I am less interested in any dogmatic explanations or traditions that get passed down and I'm more interested in the results. It's kind of like your theory about recipes. Like you're less interested in the exact amounts of everything. Yeah. It's like the proof is in the pudding. So the results are literally like does it taste good? Did it work? Yes. Right? So that's kind yes. of how I think about magic as well. Whatever is the variable that I need to put into the equation to get the result that I want, then that's what I'm going to do. Yes. <laughs> We're going to allow ourselves to be authentically us. Exactly. High five. <laughs> so we have some salt and pepper. The salt. We'll go easy on the salt to begin with, and then we'll add more later because you can always add some more. 
try a tiny bit of this sauce. Ooh, that's pretty good. Wow, I can't uh -huh. believe that's vegan. <laughs> we'll add maybe just a tiny little bit more of the Parmesan. There's no dairy in that. That's incredible. That's crazy, right? I wouldn't even be able to tell. <laughs> wow. That is pretty nuts. And I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Yeah. And let's go ahead and uh, start combining these. Add Go ahead and toss the pasta in. Let's stir this up. Now the Beyond Meat will make this a little bit browner than like a vegan chicken-like substitute. And we'll just gonna make this sauce again. Wow, that looks awesome. Let's go ahead and transfer this to the dish. I've never been more excited to use my skeleton tongs. Raise your skeleton <laughs> tongs to the skies. <laughs> Grab your Alfredo sauce in victory. Get a very... <laughs> All right. Yes! This smells amazing. And was any of that crazy difficult? No. And that was super easy. And... Really damn tasty, and uh, so you all should definitely try this at home. I'm looking forward to trying it right now. The final test of how does it taste. The most important part. All right, I'm so us. ready for this. Mm. That's solid. This is incredible. That was quite solid. This is so good. I can't believe it's vegan and gluten free. And, and gluten free. I'm a, I'm a, a little. I... It's dairy free, gluten free, vegan. It's what? What is it? <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on your show, Arden. Thank you so much for joining me. It has been a pleasure. Let's um, let's turn the camera off and have dinner. We're gonna eat the hell out of this. <laughs> tell oh, tell people where they can find you. If you Google anything, even sort of like vegan black metal chef, you will find it. And of course, the Satanic Spellbook. Everyone, definitely go out and pick up this cookbook. It's incredible. And if you're even remotely goth, this is going to look badass on your kitchen shelf. I'm really happy that I own it. You can get it uh, online, of course, at the, the Amazon, or you can just ask your local bookstore or New Age bookstore. Uh, and they should both be able to get it via their distributors. Support the local shit. <laughs> All right, let's eat. Let us eat. <laughs>